82, greatest moments of all time, Sam. This is from Premier League Poker 3. We've seen a lot of helmet blow-ups, but every once in a while he does something pretty special. And he was talking about this one against J.C. Tran for years afterwards. <laughs> yeah, he never lets you let it down if he gets one right versus he doesn't. He's always so proud. I mean, you know, like, some guys are a little bit embarrassed about wearing their bracelets and their hats, but Phil just takes it to the max. He loves poker, doesn't he? He's in love with poker. It's his life, isn't it? Back then, uh, he was even sporting the Poker cool. Brat clothing line, which... <laughs> I think that's, I don't know if you can still get one of those shirts. <laughs> but, uh, this was uh, one of the heats, and uh, J.C. Tran dominated this Premier League. But here, heads up against Helmuth. Um, he, he actually got a bit owned in this hand, or it, at least if you ask Phil. Check. 15,000. And I, th I think Helmuth had just limped the butt in his hand, but the blinds were quite Raised big. Raised to 30,000. Cool. <laughs> I love the Helmuth snap call. <laughs> he does have a good presence at the table, right? I mean, with his, you know, the freeze thing and yeah he's, he's sometimes sometimes he's like a little bit loose and he's like up and out of his seat a little unfocused cool. but when he's in the zone like he is now and Club. he really is consistent and he's done that he snap called again on the turn is that fairly automatic for you in a heads up match i guess yeah he's close i mean jc did raise the flop and then bet the turn and then you know, this is a really tough call on this river because you don't really beat all that much. And yeah. the club gets there. Yeah, so even if he was bluffing with a flush draw. All in. All in. Wow. He's gone for the all in. This is a tough call. Because you just beat like an air ball. Like, he just has to have done it with just a 5-6 or 5-7 or 5-deuce maybe. That's... I think there was also the added pressure. JC had won a heat. He, he didn't need points as much as Phil did. You know, there was extra five points there for first. This is tough by any means. It's a real tough call. You just don't beat anything at the minute. Just beat a Robloff. It's always a tough call when you boat. Don't, you just beat a Robloff. Isn't there always in poker this fine line between the hero calls and the calling stations? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, Phil's ne definitely not a calling station. Yeah. He likes to fold too much, if anything. So it's nice to see him finally make him a huge call. I'm sure JC knows that. He's considered a great guy to bluff in general, Phil. Yeah, Humbert. he is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he always says, eventually, you'll bluff them all off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to milk this once he gets it right. <laughs> I'm still surprised that he called. I still don't believe he did. <laughs> Call. Call. This is why you feel homeless. I got nothing. Just a deuce. I got an eight. I got 130,000. <laughs> I think I put 100 out there. 90. I felt you were weak. I thought I was going to move you off. I just felt like you were bluffing. But I mean, the club hit. It was a real tough call. Actually, I have 132. 132. Great call, Phil. Thanks. I mean, I just, but, but the flesh hit too, so I just, I, I don't know. Well, I felt you were weak. I mean, yeah. other than a while. No, we both knew the other guy was weak, but I, I thought maybe you made a flush. Okay. My instincts okay. wouldn't let me fold. <laughs> I tried to fold three times. And you have good instincts. <laughs> My instincts said if you fold, you lose. 